Hi guys, this is Erica from Gokche Capital. Now before I begin, be sure to click subscribe and turn on the notification bell. Chris Mata could not get a mortgage, but he had a solution. We'll learn more about how crypto has entered the mortgage market later. But first, when you buy real estate, more often than not, you will use hypothecation to afford your purchase. And in today's video, we have the top things you should know. Number one, what is hypothecation? Hypothecation is the practice where debtors pledge collateral to secure a debt. While the debtor retains ownership of the collateral, the creditors have the right to seize ownership if the borrower defaults. This helps to mitigate the creditor's risk. Number two, how is hypothecation used in real estate? You will most commonly encounter hypothecation when you take out a mortgage. As with a mortgage, when a borrower takes out a construction loan, they will need to hypothecate the property. However, because the improvements have not been built yet, they may also need to hypothecate additional assets. In a similar vein, when you take out a construction loan, you may need to hypothecate additional assets. This is because commercial property is considered more risky than residential. Number three, what other kinds of loans use hypothecation? While most personal loans are unsecured loans, which is to say they don't use hypothecation, there are a few instances outside of a traditional mortgage in which you'll see hypothecation. For example, if you take out an auto loan, you will likely need to hypothecate the vehicle. Similar to a mortgage, when you take out a home equity loan, you will need to hypothecate your house. And finally, if you take out a loan to buy equipment for your business, you may need to hypothecate that equipment or potentially additional assets. Number four, what are the pros of hypothecation? Primarily, hypothecation allows you to afford a larger purchase than you would be able to if you paid with cash or an unsecured loan. Outside of a traditional mortgage, when you hypothecate an asset, you may be able to receive a lower interest rate than you would with an unsecured loan. In a similar vein, when you hypothecate additional assets when purchasing commercial property, you may also be able to receive a lower interest rate. In these same scenarios, you can hypothecate an asset or an additional asset in order to qualify for a loan when you have less than stellar credit. And number five, what are the cons of hypothecation? Well, the primary con is you will lose the asset or assets you hypothecate if you default on the loan. Just as it is harder to purchase a property with a mortgage compared to cash, any form of hypothecation adds a layer of complication. And finally, while hypothecation can sometimes lower your interest rate, you are still taking out a loan, which means you will pay more than if you purchased with cash. So hypothecation is a powerful tool that has allowed millions to afford large assets they otherwise could not. However, when you veer away from the residential mortgage market, hypothecation can quickly become risky. You may end up losing not only the property you wish to purchase, but additional assets as well. Still, not everyone can qualify for a traditional mortgage. Which brings me back to the story of Chris Matta. Chris is not your typical home buyer. He is wealthy, but cannot get a mortgage. You see, in 2017, he left his job at Goldman Sachs to found a cryptocurrency asset management company, a move which saw him poised to take advantage of the crypto wave. But there was just one problem. When Chris went to buy a home, he couldn't get a mortgage. I kind of got laughed off the phone, Chris said, when his bank saw that all of his wealth and income was tied to volatile cryptocurrencies. But you shouldn't feel too bad for Chris. Unlike most people who can't afford mortgages, he has the wealth to buy a home, just not the dollars. So what was the solution? He went to one of several new companies that have launched crypto mortgages. No down payment is required, but you, as the borrower, must hypothecate not only the home you purchase, but 100% of the loan value in cryptocurrency. So, if you buy a home for 500000 you not only mortgage the property to the lender, but you also put up 500000 worth of Bitcoin or some other digital currency. Oh, and interest rates are high as well. 
So for now, such mortgages will likely be limited to the chrismatas of the world. But there's still a good example of how hypothecation works outside of the traditional mortgage market. And if you buy a lot of properties, you may need to hypothecate additional assets at some point too. So does this apply to you? If so, tell us your experience with hypothecation in the comments. Did you like this video? You're going to love our Gokche Land Due Diligence program. We'll make you a land due diligence expert in just seven days. Check it out at gokchecapital.com glad. And while you're at our website, don't forget to explore our $1 down listings at gokchecapital.com listings. Finally, don't hesitate to reach out. You can email, call, or text, and we will respond as soon as possible. So thank you for listening and more to come.